Hey everyone, hope you're doing well. So today we're gonna to be having a look at the Git Worktree command. Now, this command is in the most common uh, Git commands. It's, it's not very well known, but it's super useful and it's very simple to, to learn. So that's what we're gonna be having a look at today. Uh, yeah, let's get right into it. So first things first, what is a Worktree? Now, a Worktree is just a directory with the files, the files that you work on, um, that belong to a Git repository, right? So it's just the, the directory that holds the files for your Git repository. So I'm just in um, a playground directory here. I'm just going to initialize uh, a Git repository here called Worktree Tutorial. And I'm just gonna change into that directory. And if we use the git worktree list command, you'll see that we already have a Worktree. So all I've done is initialize a, a Git repository. Same with when you clone a Git repository, as long as you don't use additional options, you're always gonna have a default uh, Worktree. And this is basically the, the directory that you that you um, that work in, you know, that's, this is your Git repository basically. And you can see the, the path to the directory here. This is usually the uh, commit hash, which of course we don't have any commits yet. And then we have the, the branch. Now, the, the cool thing about work trees is you can have many work trees for one uh, Git repository. So in addition to this one directory, I can have multiple other directories that all point to different branches. And there is a caveat that you can't have two uh, work trees in the same branch, but we'll, we'll have a look at that later on. So. Uh, yeah, let's add a commit uh, to this repository and then let's have a look at, um, you know, what the problem is and how you solve it with Worktree. So I'm just going to add a simple um, hello world to a temp text file. I'm going to git add that and then I'm going to git commit. So git commit, uh, initial commit. There we go. So I just have a repository with one commit uh, on the main branch. So let's assume now I'm uh, working on a new feature. So uh, new feature checking out new feature, get check out new feature. And yeah, let's just add uh, a new line to, there we go, temptic text. So I'm making some changes. Let's assume you have, you know, this is quite a big change or you have a lot of things going on. And for whatever reason, you basically now need to change branch and, you know, look into something else, whether that's a, a hot fix, you just want to experiment a few things or you need to do a review. And basically this process isn't always easy, especially if you have you know new dependencies or you know th new things to install, which might um, which might conflict with you know what you've got already on on this branch. Uh, in addition to that, you just you might not be ready to, to commit this um, or or stash it, and you, you might not want to learn the, the git commit or the git stash commands. And um, so basically, what you want is you want to take this branch, put it to the side, and just work on something else, and then come back to it as is without you know without messing with it. And that's basically what Worktree uh, allows you to do. So how do we do this? Well, what we do is we do git worktree add, and I've got an alias uh, actually for git worktree gw. So you'll see me using that a lot, it's the same thing, git worktree. So what we do is we're gonna add a path um, on a specific branch. So um, you can basically add this path anywhere. So you might want to put it alongside your existing, you know, uh, directory and call it worktree tutorial hotfix or, or whatever. What I like to do is I like to have it inside uh, my kind of my main uh, work tree under a dot work trees directory. I'm going to call this one hotfix. Uh, and note that I have in my global uh, git ignore and in you know my uh, ID, etc. I, I have everything ignoring um, anything under dot work tree so that this works out for me. So once we have uh, git work tree add, we have the path and then we just basically say, well, what branch do you want to uh, or what commit hash do you want to basically start off from? So I'm just going to say, well, let's just check out from, from main, right? So I'm going to hit enter here. And now if you do a, a get work tree list, you can see now I've got two work trees, my, my main one here, and I've got this, this hotfix uh, work tree, which is pointing to a uh, main branch, but it's on, on the same commit hash, right? And like I said earlier on, the caveat is I can't, I can't check out uh, the new feature branch. Um, oops, let me, sorry, CD into uh, work trees hotfix. You can see here, uh, I've CD into the hotfix, um, work tree, I'm on a different branch, main, uh, and I can't check out, like I said, the, the new feature branch because it's already checked out in another uh, another work tree, right? So let's clear this. So I'm on this hotfix uh, directory on a main branch, so a separate work tree. What I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna, you know, let's just say we need to uh, fix a hotfix. So hotfix, let's just echo um, hotfix to fix txt. Um, Let's uh, add that and then let's just uh, commit that. So I'm just going to commit hotfix or hotfix. Yeah, I'll take it. Um, and let's just assume we, we push this up and we basically merge this to, to master. So again, I can, or main, sorry. So we can check out main um, and we can merge hotfix. So we've just kind of done the whole workflow of, of development. Hotfix has gone into main. 
And then basically now what we do is we go back up, in my case, two directories, i.e. to my main, uh, my main work tree, and I've, I've still got all my changes left from my, um, from my new feature. You know, nothing's changed. All that's happened is we basically went, worked somewhere else as if we've you know, cloned the repo elsewhere, um, worked on something and come back. And now what we can do is we can go back to our git work tree. Again, git work tree is still there. We can do git work tree remove, and then the name of the work tree or the path to the, to the work tree. So git work tree remove hotfix, and now we're basically back to where we were uh, at the beginning, only we have our, our new feature. So now we might uh, add you know, the new feature here. We might uh, commit new feature, you know, so on. And then um, I have two commits here, but of course, if I uh, rebase on top of main, we now have all of our commits and, you know, simple as that, right? Very simple command. Um, and the main thing that this avoids basically is is, is stashing or, or committing or, or basically messing around with your, with your branch when you don't want to. So this is something that I use, you know, all, all the time, especially when I'm reviewing other people's work or, or helping other people out. Very, very useful command. So I definitely recommend uh, playing around with it. I think I'm going to wrap it up there. Thank you very much for watching. Have a good day uh, and I'll see you in the next one.